If you follow Donald Trump's tweets, you're aware that Saturday morning is usually one of his quietest times. In fact, it's the rare morning he doesn't typically explode in a semi-coherent ball of rage. But this morning, with Trump's scandals now rapidly closing in on him from all sides, Trump's morning went very differently. He posted one increasingly berserk tweet after another, and he gave some things away in the process. Trump started it all with this nonsense, I have not read the Mueller report yet, even though I have every right to do so. Only know the conclusions, and on the big one, no collusion. Likewise, recommendations made to our grade A. G who found no obstruction. 13 angry Trump hating Dems, later brought to 18, given two years and 30 million dollars, and they found no collusion, no obstruction. But the Democrats, no matter what we give them, will never be satisfied. A total waste of time. He then went on to quote one of his sycophants who said enough, America has had enough. What have you accomplished? Public is fed up. Trump is right when he says that the public is fed up, he just has it backwards. The polls all show that the majority of Americans are fed up with him in general, and the majority of Americans are fed up with his attempts at suppressing the Mueller report. But Trump was just getting started with his lies about the Mueller report. Trump continued with a meltdown that didn't contain a single true word. So, let's get this straight. There was no collusion, and in fact the phony dossier was a con job that was paid for by crooked Hillary and the DNC. So the 13 angry Democrats were investigating an event that never happened, and that was in fact a made-up fraud. I just fought back against something I knew never existed, collusion with Russia, so ridiculous. No obstruction. This Russia hoax must never happen to another president, and law enforcement must find out, how did it start? To be clear, I just fought back is literally a confession to felony obstruction of justice. When he's someday on trial for obstruction, this tweet will be used against him as evidence in a court of law, and it'll help ensure his conviction. Donald Trump is going to prison in the end. The only two questions are what path ends up taking him there and how much more damage he can do to America on his way down.